Greetings everyone, I'm Adam Harriton. Today I'm spending some time in a high elevation forest in southwestern Pennsylvania, and I can't help noticing all the striped maple trees in this area. It seems that just about everywhere that I walk there's a striped maple tree. Now something fascinating about striped maple, and this is something that most trees definitely do not do, is that it changes sex. Males become females, females become males. Striped maple, in other words, is a sequential hermaphrodite. And those aren't my words, those are words used by professional ecologists and botanists who enjoy studying the sex lives of plants maybe just a little too much. Now there are a few more things to be said on the topic of sequential hermaphroditism, so if you're interested in learning more, take a walk with me, let's explore this forest and continue our discussion. Striped maple, also known as moose maple and moose wood, is a beautiful tree. Now you might be looking at this saying, what do you mean it's a tree? That looks more like a shrub. And you're right, this one does look more like a shrub. So striped maple is a small tree. It only really grows to heights of about 30 feet tall. And so oftentimes the younger specimens like this one will look shrubby. But I wanted to show you this particular striped maple so that I could show you the leaves. You know, as they develop into tree form, usually the leaves are concentrated higher up the trunk. So striped maple is so unique among the maples that are native to eastern North America. It really doesn't look like red, silver, sugar, or black maple. Striped maple is a snake bark maple. What the heck is a snake bark maple? Well, snake bark maples are maples that have intricately designed bark patterns that resemble snake skin. Around 20 species of snake bark maple exist, all of them restricted to Eastern Asia except for one species, striped maple, Acer pennsylvanicum. Now, if you've never seen striped maple in person, let me tell you, it's one of the easiest trees to positively identify. Even in the winter months, identification is simple because of its bark. When young, the bark of striped maple is green, and it has these long white to silvery gray stripes. The bark of older trees is more of a grayish color. Striped maple is also called goosefoot maple because its three-lobed leaves resemble the feet of geese. And like all maples, the fruits of striped maple are paired samaras that are dispersed by the wind. Now what about this sequential hermaphroditism that I mentioned earlier? What's that all about? And is it really true that striped maple changes sex? Well, to answer that last question first, yes, it's true. Striped maple is capable of changing sex. Now it's not unheard of for a plant to do this during its lifetime. Jack in the pulpit changes sex, but not many other plants do. Now in order for us to understand this topic a bit more, we have to understand two terms, dioecious and monoecious. Striped maple is what's known as a dioecious species. Dioecious literally means two houses. In a botanical context, dioecious means that male and female flowers are found on separate trees. This contrasts with monoecious plants, like butternut, for instance, whose trees have both male and female flowering structures on the same tree. Now, striped maple is almost always dioecious. Almost always, a certain striped maple tree will have male flowers or it will have female flowers. Rarely will a striped maple have both male and female flowering structures on the same tree. It can happen, but it's rare. Now in perennial dioecious plants, gender is fixed throughout a particular plant's entire life. It doesn't change no matter what. Males stay males, females stay females. This is why striped maple, Acer pennsylvanicum, is so fascinating. Gender, in the case of striped maple, is not fixed. It can change. Undoubtedly, this has been known for a long time, but in the scientific community, this observation started gaining traction in the 1970s. Researchers not only commented on the sex-changing habits of striped maple, but they also linked sex changes to canopy conditions. In other words, the opening or closing of the forest canopy was thought to influence sex change in striped maple trees. And ultimately, this was linked to stress. 
Striped maple is an understory species that experiences stress in the lower canopy layers of a forest. Herbivory being one stress, access to light being another. Multiple stresses compounded over many years can prompt male striped maples to become females. Over the years, additional studies have shed more light on this topic, and some key findings have been that the majority of flowering striped maples in any area are male, that although it was originally thought sex changes went in the direction of male to female, trees can go in either direction, that unlike most other woody plants who differentiate the sexual organs in their flowers nine to 12 months before flowering, striped maple does so as late as three weeks prior to flowering, and that female striped maples are often in worse health and are smaller compared to males. In other words, female striped maples are at greater risk of dying. So if female striped maples are at a greater risk of dying, and being female is considered to be more costly because of the resources needed in order to create fruit, what would entice a male striped maple to become female in the first place? Well, remember, the majority of striped maples are male, which means that competition to contribute pollen in any given population is pretty high, but competition to receive pollen as a female is pretty low. A female, in the case of striped maple, who sets seed has a greater chance of being a parent to a tree of the next generation than if the same exact tree had flowered as male. And males that are getting old and ragged, in the case of striped maple, may have a greater chance of passing their genes forward, even if it kills them if they switch sexes, flower as female, and subsequently set seed. Of course, these are just theories, and as is true for most phenomena in nature, we're not entirely sure what's going on. We know that striped maple is capable of changing sex. We think that stress may influence sex changes in some plants, and we've noticed that this trait is relatively rare within the plant kingdom, but the ultimate reason behind this mystery isn't entirely clear. And that's okay. Maybe, at the end of the day, a plant that changes sex isn't a problem to solve. Maybe it's something to ponder, to observe, to learn, and to keep a mystery. Because even if we think we've solved it and figured it out, there will always be at least 10,000 more layers of the mystery to uncover. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the sex changing life of this tree or shrub known as striped maple, Acer pennsylvanicum. If you enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I encourage you to subscribe to the Learn Your Land YouTube channel. You can also head on over to learnyourland.com and sign up for the email newsletter. And if you are on social media, feel free to give Learn Your Land a follow on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.